Hey ho. Uh, welcome to a little, like, uh, basic guide, uh, part 2 for fleet or small gang PvP. Um, today we just go through some uh, basic commands, like, um, also like warp to align to just some basic stuff you get uh, confronted it. Uh, one important command I'm usually giving is at the start of roams is um, add each other to watch list um, if the fleet is full uh, like this I can also like if there are people in it like in squad one you just right click on squad one and add squad members to watch list you also do that with the FC. Sometimes I'm also um, <coughs> putting axes up like that. When I'm flying an interceptor, you can also then add me to watch list. Also, for example, if I leave the fleet and I am just joining now standing fleet, one second, uh, right click, leave fleet, and I'm uh, joining standing fleet, one second, GTC standing. Uh, one second. And I have a few people on a watch list, for example, like that. I could um, <clears throat> also sort them. So if Mr. Battlers is, for example, the interceptor, pilot the hunter, you can put him on top. You can also give him a color, like red or green or something like that. But make sure that uh, you um, cancel the colors um, uh, later when the fleet is over. Otherwise, every time the person is gonna have the color. But you can give uh, here assign some some stuff for it. Also, if Battlers, for example, is now roaming gangs, the interceptor guy who's hunting or tackling down, or it would be me, then you can just uh, give him some colors. And also, if you want to add to, uh, to watch list, for example, a squad, for example, you can right click the squad and uh, add uh, one second. It doesn't. Yeah. Right click and add squad members to watch list. <clears throat> and then you can start, uh, for example, from here. And stuff like that. One tip, uh, as a Logi, for example, I would always ask who's my Logi bro, especially in small gang stuff. Uh, you can also then give your Logi bro, for example, some colors as well. Like if those th uh, three would be my Logi bros, so I have on my watch list some, some stuff sorted, or if this the uh, main FC or stuff like that. <coughs> Just important persons. Maybe the Dictor Alt and whatever. This makes uh, the stuff a bit easier. Um, just for um, just for beginning stuff like that. That is what I meant with uh, add squad members to watch list. Also really important. Um, um, I'm working with the uh, broadcast history. Also you see a lot of commands usually uh, in the broadcast history. <coughs> I'm just sorry, I'm a bit uh, sick. Um, you see them here in the fleet window. And then if you watch here in the broadcast history there, you see a lot of stuff like uh, when I broadcast something like align 2 or uh, warp 2. You see it here in the broadcast history and you can just follow that uh, by right clicking that. Um, what I'm usually also really, uh, really do very, very often is that I'm broadcasting destinations. Uh, for example, if we would now start traveling to uh, this system, then I'm saying I broadcasted destination. You also see it there, then you can just uh, right click and travel to. I've also uh, made uh, in the other guide, which is linked um, in the description, that you can give uh, your broadcast thingy some uh, some colors as well. If I broadcasting uh, target, for example, then. But this is mentioned like in other guides as well. Watch them as well. 
Ähm, ja. Und wenn I'm saying start traveling, you're starting traveling to the broadcast uh, destination. <coughs> Sometimes I'm telling you something like, um, hold um, the next command is for example where we are traveling. Um, it has the reason travel to. Also like, uh, start traveling now, free burn is like you just free burn to destination, that means you're just traveling through. But sometimes I'm telling you something like how it hold two jumps uh, before death. Um, the reason behind that is sometimes it's a system when we are roaming around an enemy territory and nobody is in local, then we are out of intel. <clears throat> like, um, then we are out of intel, and that means, for example, that all those little programs and stuff like that, like in this system, for example, if it would be just us in there, then those little programs like SNT and stuff like that wouldn't react, and we can just chill there. Mm. The outgate is the uh, gate. Um, which uh, you're not jumping in, it's the one you, when you want to go out of the system, so the outgate is the one which you exit the system, not when you're jumping in. And usually you hold there, also so I'm telling you hold two jumps before death on the outgate, then it would mean, uh, you see here the little number, <clears throat> the two, you see it here, um, like this for example, also not don't have it open like this, have it open like that, then you it would mean you holding here on the outgate. Um, sometimes your interceptor is uh, also, this is also the next uh, thingy, what I'm also a lo uh, doing a lot of, I'm broadcasting at location, and if I would now have something tackled uh, on the way or something on the side lane, for example, uh, you can also then just right click and set destination. I'm usually then saying, hey, I have something tackled there, so uh, well, I don't know, Ishtar, I broadcast the location, just start burning there. And then if it's maybe on the la uh, right or left on your destination, you can just click there and then burn there. Also for example, if I would have something tackled in WZ, I would say, okay, I'm warp to Ishtar, if I Ishtar pointed in WZ, uh, broadcasted location, start burning there. So start burning to the broadcasted location, then you see it here. And then if I would now have something pointed, you would also then see something like uh, like uh, W's in fleet traps, like I'm the warp in. If I now would be the scepter pilot, I would also be on the watch list, but usually people also do some W's in fleet chat, and then you can just right click and warp to them from the watch list. And if I'm telling you to free burn, then this was the destination from before. Um, you would just then continuing burning. Uh, one tip I can give you sometimes, um, this is also very important, is you will never click uh, jump. You always click warp to within. Um, the reason is pretty simple. If now would be a gang like and I would say hold, 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 you would have uh, already clicked jump. If you want to avoid it, you have to click on the minus or you have to uh, uh, control B. Sometimes now if a gang would would, uh, would be now on the other side because they want us to cut off or stuff and you would have clicked already jump, then you would jump into them and ebola. There would be the gang, maybe some Instalog bullshit, whatever, Hull tank Gnosis and stuff like that, and you would be dead. So even if I'm telling you free burn, you just click warp two within, and then shortly before you land, you click maybe on on jump two, also on 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 the jump thingy. I never would uh, free burn with just uh, jump, because there's always sometimes stuff happening here. This is with the hotkeys, for example. So you're stopping your ship, you can just spam it or whatever with control B, uh, spacebar. And then you're jumping in, then you have your W's in, in fleet chat, and then 
sometimes the w's are changing like uh, i had to warp off then i'm usually telling you then you get from another person like w's in fleet chat because ishtar drones are nasty if he has a nav computer fitted and stuff like that or gila with nav computers are really really deadly then you may be the interdictor pilot you also would have uh, on watch list would now be the warp in and stuff like that <clears throat> and when i'm telling you like uh, sometimes i'm also telling you like um, this is another var variation if i know we would travel to 90k i'm also could tell you uh, burn towards uh, 4n uh, for NTEC and hold on the outgate. Uh, that means, like, um, if we know what uh, burn there. Yeah, I know. I'm doing it wrong, I know. Because I'm an interceptor pilot. <clears throat> That's fine. We will just um, um, talk about some basics and stuff about some roles and stuff uh, also in advance also later in this video um then i'm uh then you see here for example okay the next system is for ntech and then the outgate is like um yeah in the, in this case the 90k gate i also could uh, tell you okay one jump before death like then you have this little number as an indicator here never f uh, fly like this around otherwise you get confused have it always open because then you also see if you have to travel through high stack and stuff like that and sometimes you can also click and uh, go upwards by the way so one jump uh, before death on the outgate was the command and then you just click uh, warp 2 and then you hold there and <clears throat> what um um now we come to a bit of advanced stuff sometimes uh, when we have no an enemy gang landing and i'm also here then uh something like uh warp out is getting uh broadcasted something like that and then i'm telling you okay i broadcasted your warp out and now we uh, we setting up like 50 kilometer or 60 kilometer on that gate what that mean is you usually burning like 15 uh, 50 or 60 kilometer into that direction so we set up on the gate like uh, uh, 50 kilometer in that direction or just burn like 50 kilometer in the broadcasted direction there's uh, that means like you see here the gate and you see here a number and if we have, for example, an interdictor, he would now uh, throw a bubble here, and now we would have set up like that. By the way, uh, one tip, always start a bit moving. Don't worry when you are not exactly at 50 km, but you can then just burn a bit in and then away and stuff like that. Always the same you also do as a cruiser, for example, like that, and then you can then turn around and stuff like that. Also with double click in space and this is now an interceptor i'm uh, flying a bit faster so but yeah the reason is behind that uh, we are already set up in in position and if we now would set up like like 50 kilometer uh, on this grid here into uh, that direction for example into the ess direction um then, for example, uh, wait one second. Like this, for example, then all our DPS ships are also the tank ships. They would now be here. And I'm now combining it, for example, like setting up uh, on, a, on a gate. Also, if this now would be our torexes and stuff like that or whatever then our lottery for example could set up is always setting up a bit behind so we have like a 40 kilometer uh, rep range and then you can try to be in the in the range of the bookmark for example so lottery is uh, then setting up a bit behind 
you have the advantage of armor wraps and armor wraps have a huge range compared to shield wraps so they can also set up around so setup means usually like also that the dps ship is a bit forward but also as your logi ship also as a evo frigate yeah yeah means like uh, that you are further behind because you have also huge evo ranges on on your uh, tech one frigate i mean you can as a griffin you can have like 75 kilometer up to 100 kilometer and there's no need uh, for you to be at at 40 uh, here at 50 kilometer away from the gate while our dps ships uh, have to do that so you would also burn like around here and when the enemy is jumping into us till they get their lodges up and stuff like that then we already start to hit them so it's like a bit like uh, from other mmos you can compare it. if this now would would be the boss uh, this would be our damage guys and behind that is like support or heal uh, tackle is kind of you can understand like as a crowd uh, ground control uh you I can do some different stuff like that. Also, you can uh, also like um, um, like if something is trying in for for a scram on those uh, DPS ships, for example, then you can screen them. For example, it's like uh, like with a defensive scram, if you and stuff like that, if a Dramiel Stiletto or whatever is burning in, then you can just go in for, for a defensive scram to protect them. And if I'm saying like, uh, we're gonna kite them into that direction, then that means that like our DPS and Logi is like, uh, also not straight up burning in a, in a, in a straight line, but, but we are just kiting like in a, in a, in a, in a zigzag, then you can turn a bit around, also Logi can turn a bit around then you can then fly a bit upwards and then towards uh, the ESS again. You can also then just here right click if you lost the ESS direction and stuff like that. And then we are kiting like if the enemies is coming in and then we would just uh, kite them into the direction. We would kind of dominate uh, the grid. It would be like... Um, mm, how to say it like a like a bubble gum or, or, or chewing gum uh, you have in in your mouth and then it goes longer and longer and longer and this is what we do in the grid we're making it like a, or like a rubber band we make it longer and longer and longer and then they try to burn uh, towards us and da and what and where this tactic is really effective is for example at the ESS grid also when we warp at 100 uh, for example to the ESS uh, setting up there is, is really really easy because the enemy can't warp uh, on top of us also they can warp at 100 to the ESS but everything further away than that is like absolutely dead space that means like also when we are landing here I would, uh, for example, then broadcast uh, this as a warp out, like uh, this, and then I would say, okay, let's start uh, burning to that direction till we are like like 150 off the ESS. So even they la would land here at max range if they warp at 100 from the uh, 90k gate, also uh, not from the 90k gate, we came from a uh, GY5 gate. And so that we can set up here. And then you would uh, like having the usual setup, like uh, the DPS ships are a bit forward and the Logi ships are a bit backward, support uh, something in between Logi ships uh, or also at the same range. And then we could uh, start here, the fight, which is also very nice. Maybe we would have an, an interdictor that would uh, pull a bubble there. Uh, bubble there and then we could even start the fight at uh, I don't know at 50 from the ESS or at 70 because they all when they warp to the ESS are landing inside the bubble at the beacon at zero and then we can start farming them which is also really 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 strong on the outside grid and then Evor like 
like again like uh, dps ships with, with the range of 50 60 70 kilometer I can set up here like uh, again like this and then uh, for, uh, this is a bit far off but then again like the the setting here like on, on here Logi again were like 40 kilometer off also optimal range is 40 kilometer and then execure and you should use that because the enemy is then like if they land at zero there are your Logi ships and there are not much ship that are project around 100 kilometer and you have an easy uh, time as a Logi some and also burn a bit in as a Logi then you're turning around again like and always be in movement that's really really important always moving and do a bit uh, like that we're gonna also gonna do some manual piloting uh, classes on, on the test server and stuff like that <clears throat> it's uh, gonna be pretty easy and Yeah, that's a bit like the, the theory classes then when I'm telling you like hold on the gate, like the gate is red, like hold, hold on the 90k gate, um, then you're not doing anything. Also, um, you have to know when to aggress. This is uh, really important. Um, if you don't know when to aggress, actually, then don't do it, unless you're getting uh, unless you're getting told uh, to aggress. Um, unless you're getting told to aggress, because otherwise, if you aggress, for example, like and that would be an enemy. Um, then okay when you're pointing the gate uh, but usually you get an, an aggression timer from uh, one minute and you can't jump through uh, for one minute through the gate so uh, this can also be pretty pretty fatal so don't aggress uh, like with without any reason and I'm usually telling you when to aggress, otherwise you would slow down everything. For example, there would be an enemy saber jumping into us and start bubbling us and you would try to aggress it. Um, then, yeah, you would now aggress the saber and then an enemy gang, he would bubble us and then jump uh, through the gate. You aggressed him, good job. Now an enemy gang is jumping in and whopping on top of you and you're dead. And because you can't jump through uh, through the gate, uh, what we also do is like um, like when we are trying to get chased, is like we're jumping through the gate. I'm broadcasting the next gate. Also, for example, if that would be our destination, like uh, for example, that would be our destination. Then I would tell you like align to uh, VPL with your prop mods on. Uh, uh, with your prop mods on, then you align there. Uh, one second here. By the way, you don't need to have it that big. You can also make it smaller. And also. Um, then you're burning into that direction and we are waiting till the saber is decloaked or we are out of the saber bubble range and then we are warping together so usually i'm making then a fleet warp or i'm telling you then then warp on your own also warp uh, to the vpl gate usually we are like pretty fast so it shouldn't be a problem and a saber isn't a problem for us to kill it so like uh, so jump and align, so jump, jump VPL and align to the outgate with your prop mods on. And then you can activate your prop mod. 
Uh, by the way, if you are jumped in and you're landing like a bit behind and stuff like that on that gate, even in fleets and stuff, put your prop mods on. Because otherwise, if something enemy is jumping in towards you guys, uh, you are here while everybody is here and then is warping off. So you can activate your prop mod a bit like to cut a bit the distance out of range. Then for example, I would maybe park my, my, my stiletto then there. And then we would go uh, for the saber and try to kill it and stuff like that. And then we would uh, keep going. Then you're getting fleet warp. And yeah, also how to follow targets and stuff is like, I made it like in the other guide as well with some video example. Maybe I find some, some small gang example and we can watch that a bit where I'm in the uh, thingy. I think I'm just uh, gonna do some uh, now. The second part is like really like role role specific, like from the theory you now and uh, from the praxis part how to set up. And I think now I'm just going through the absolute uh, theory, which is like um, you have in like gangs uh, different roles. Um, you have to get in mind about uh, gangs and stuff like that, as now it's absolute theory time, that uh, the smaller the gang is, the more... Um, or uh, the less uh, specific uh, roles the fleet has. What does that mean? Um, in small gang PvP, every ship uh, has to do everything, like healing themselves, being able to uh, to point and tackle something, and also to maintain the self heal. Also, if you are roaming around with five dudes, then uh, I don't know, bringing a dedicated logi ship would be mm, would would decrease the firepower really, really much. Instead, you want to have a DPS ship with a self wrap. Also, for example, um, like this here, is, that's a pretty standard Omen Navy issue. Um, for example, with an ancillary rep point and a cap booster and stuff like that. Something like that would be in, 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 in uh, like the Tempest fleet issue would be in, in bigger fleets or something like that. This is also an... an an example of an active tank PvP ship. You do it over here with ancillary shield boosters. And the cool thing is, for example, about that ship that it, uh, or also the open navy issue is, um, it's a kind of hy hybrid between DPS ship and anti-tackle ship. Um, the o Osprey navy issue is really good at applying at small stuff, than just uh, better than an Omen navy issue, for example. But it's fine. Um, the cool thing is you can also use it as a normal DPS ship. And this here, for example, this is like DPS ship, like also multi-role again, like with an ancillary sh uh, shield wrap and, and small gangs. And then the higher we, we going, like uh, then you can start thinking of uh, like, if we have like a 10 man gang, then you bring something uh, specialized. Like this ship is very, very specialized in um, in the DPS role. Uh, I'm just shortly making a cut. For example, this is like d a pure DPS role. If you have like a five man plus or a ten ten man gang, then you gonna uh, then we gonna bring that. For example, um, I'm just making a little cut. So, for example, this ship here, this uh, Oracle from before, um, this is, for example, a pure DPS support ship in, in Rome. It's sadly that we don't have a pilot for it at the moment. Mm. But just to demonstrate you some numbers, although you're gonna see here, are like um, a pulse laser, so I'm just docking for one second. Um, it's like, also you see here with uh, multi frick you don't use Tech 2 ammunition. Also you see those uh, numbers and hits and also the uh, rate of fire. 
of it, um, this is actually very, very, very good. Also, like, every five seconds, you get a volley of this into your face. And, for example, in a 10-man gang, uh, you need webs and scrams to make this ship work, for example. If you have a bigger gang, like 10, 10 guys, like, like, um, maybe one, 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 uh, one nano oniros, one, one oracle, two interceptors, then we are already at, at four dudes, and then the rest in, 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 in tech, uh, in, in cruisers, for example, like, like, that would be, for example, an, an comp or one, or one, one nano scimitar, then, then this oracle, two interceptors, this is our four dudes, then maybe one omen navy issue, uh, also like, or two Nomen, Omen Navy issue, one Osprey Navy issue, and maybe then a Drake Navy issue, for example, that would be like an eight-man comp, for example, and this, ro uh, this the role of the Oracle is just to specifically doing damage. The reason, for example, why the Oracle is the most number one absolute pure damage ship is not uh, the multi frig it's uh, Scorch, because you still do uh, 650 DPS, but at uh, almost the targeting range, like of 81 kilometer, and you deal still huge damage. And I'm gonna show you some examples, for, exa uh, for example, and then you see what I mean. Um, the Pypha numbers, for example, they are pure. So no, no target resist or anything included. And you're gonna see here, for example. Uh, right away, we have no reps. Since I flew it in the past, this is sexy. So for Le Adichio Goli, you need a Nidus for it, then lifelet. And here, for example, you have seen it. If you don't make it uh, work, for example, the wet mark is moving, and I missed then like rise. straight away. And what I'm also doing. Did you damage? Drones out. Did you damage drones out? Well, uh, those were, for example, drags that boosted my. My fitting, and then you see the so life is second. The uh, hits. I'm gonna start landing, and then I missed again Rise for example. Cherry. And life now I hit now. it life him again. Stretch attack. And now I'm going for the other wet mark, and then okay. you see that, here. That attack on that one. Get attack on the uh, stabber. Kill that stabber now. Attack long point. And then Everyone here I should stab. have switched for ex That's Oh, fine. although he's in in range. Anyone on plex force? Uh, a, I think. Uh, oh, wait one second, I'm gonna also find one example. Another one? Just give me a. Also, here's like a, another example. This is an Ishta. And you uh, see a few. Uh, uh, this Fight to Ethereum. I, I'm in warp with a saber. This I was an AW one to. times. But don't uh, know what to do. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, you can scram him. If you're in battleship and stuff, like the fighters are gonna shred through us. I'm not, not sure if we really should. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah? That was the dish, though. Was it here? No. Also, you see me. Uh... Yeah, there's the Gila, for example. He's absolutely standing still. And then you see here, for example, when the target is standing still, uh, he's dying, gonna die really, really fast. And you see uh, those hits are landing. Uh, one second. Here. Also, when we killed his uh, shield tank. And... Ah, uh, doesn't show so well. But yeah, here you see the a bit bigger hits are landing. Those were from my uh, Oracle. And what you also see is how to save an Oracle for from retardation. Oh, it's like ping, about ping, the warp tapping about JTAC C. I'm not oh warping box. people because. Warp to uh, ping a JTAC scene here, you see my or retardation. Anything. The Mola Gang the is on the other side. <laughs> the Mola Gang is on the other okay. side. Okay, how many is that? It's 23 in local, get your D-scan. That's kinda a lot. 
Yeah, yeah parallel with it. them, three augurs, four and augurs, what you then and see uh, here is, about 15 uh, DPS shoot. When I'm telling you or somebody is tell, telling you to a ping, you should warp, uh, warp to a ping. It's to the gate at zero, Umbra, you're so fucked. You are so fucked, man. Why are you warping to the gate? Like, what are oh, people doing? People like, doing that. Good job, you just fed. More. What are you doing? And this is like, you just heat straight away. <laughs> and the cool thing is with the Oracle, if a saber is flying okay. into a, in a direct line, can almost 12, you see here? Well. I said <laughs> it's a big hit. To a ping. <laughs> Not fucking gates. Well, oh, we ping. can now warp to Voton at like range. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's me. It's actually I'm giving yep, a warp. Maybe in. the yes, Maulers no? just jumped. The Maulers are in. The Maulers are all in. Yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna warp us at 50 to Voton and. <laughs> So I'm actually giving a good warp in with the Oracle. It's not actually my my job to give a warp in an <laughs> in a DPS gonna ship. Scrum bottom, so we need That's to fine. save a tackle. So I'm kind of debating them with my high end skill. <laughs> uh, this SFI will be primary. Do not. So here I try to uh, uh, blab the malediction. Climb back to the fucking fort while while you're yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. and. Kill this mallet. Kill the mallet. He's gonna ram us, I think. Or he's already he's gonna be stupid. I actually just should have switched uh, now immediately to the Gnosis because it's yes. easier to hit. He's what? Oracle, Oracle shoot the, the SFI. SFI. Yeah, yeah, just shoot the SFI with the Oracle. Uh, SFI was. Uh, what was it? Oh. Actually, just knows this. This knows this. Missing. Yeah, yeah. Shoot this knows. I was a bit retarded. Don't see broadcast. And now I'm uh, <laughs> can can prop again. Missing. And I don't know what what prop Chinaman was doing. Prop on and align to the fort. Like. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just uh, retarded. I should have switched the ammunition because. Uh, just stay in damage range. You don't need to like be super scared of them. But we'll have to clear tackle in a second. Uh, yeah, 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 that was yeah. a bit of my retardation. Going I was also jungle. very, very highly excited. Uh, MJDs, MJDs, MJDs. MJDs don't and get here scrammed. you see the scorch and uh, still the range. Here you see one other big hit of the MJDs Oracle. On the noses. Do not get scrammed. <laughs> dead. But if I am uh, now watching myself, this was an absolute retarded performance. It was just from my uh, early days in, in DV7, and I was on the China bot uh, bot side. And, you know, getting from a bot uh, mentality and a mindset and flying uh, into an actual human, it's... Uh... <laughs> It is taking some some time. By the way, if you're wondering, I reloaded here to uh, standard what ammunition it won. Can still hit at uh, decent ranges, but uh, Scorch is still uh, superior. So another ship. Um, so for example, other ships that are uh, like other roles are, for example, in the support role. I've also put it uh, fingers in. For example, this is a Keras uh, with remote sensor damp uh, with Evo because the ship uh, has some bonuses uh, to it. Um, you can you see here remote sensor damps and stuff like that. Um, also a point. That's what we, for example, like a Griffin uh, ship from the examples uh, before. This is, for example, for, for nooting uh, at, at decent ranges and stuff like that. I'm also putting, by the way, like, uh, this is a nano scythe, nano logy, for example. This is the Augura uh, for nano engagements. Also not the, the thingy, for example, yeah. And there we had the... Here I need to switch the shield, uh, the 
uh, thingies again. And then you have something like a uh, crowd control. Um, I would, also you would call it crowd control. This is the Hugin, for example, a nano Hugin. It's a pretty, pretty standard fit. Uh, you see here, it's also a bit uh, expensive, but it's really, really effective. Also, for example, um, that is also something when we have, for example, our income fixed, then we could have, for example, in the eight man gang comp, we could have, for example, one nano hack with it, um, which would be insanely good. Also, I can just uh, put it, for example, here on Pyfer. Um, and then you see here, if you have it on, on five, and then you heating it, uh, that's why Recon 5 is uh, uh, so, so fucking important. That's with Recon 4, for example. And this is just an... an also, like, Recon 4 is... Uh, 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 get it to 5. And don't complain about skilling it to 5. It's insane what the uh, difference uh, is actually, like um, heated and unheated, you know. And then comes, for example, like uh, command burst fits, where is it? Uh, Magos, uh, skirmish links, and then you see here you have cold, like uh, 73 kilometer, and then you see here 92 kilometer, and at four, for example, 62 kilometer and then stuff like that. So do yourself a favor. If you ever fly a recon, get it to five. It's absolutely, there's no discussion about it. The performance uh, difference is so good. And also you see the speed here. So you can, with the Hugen, for example, you also stay in like uh, where, where the logis are or between the damage and logi. For example, you're not in the absolute front line, but a bit behind. Um, maybe somewhere where the Oracle is, maybe a bit before the Oracle. And you're also webbing uh, small stuff. By the way, uh, I don't have any recon skills, but I know how it's worked. Because the character you saw, the Oracle gameplay is from old times. From my biomass character. But, uh, yeah. This is now a bit longer video, uh, like 42 minutes. I hope it's okay. I'm gonna put some timestamps into it. And I wish you all all good, everything till the next roam. Be good, get good. Now you have the theory, the rest is pract uh, practice. And yeah, we have SRP, so all good. When you lose something, bring it, buy it, and... SRP up to 100 million and let's get good and have fun in the game.